And as I said before, if I was um, to narrow it down to one software on my computer to go on the road, um, it, this would be the software. What's up guys, TJ Martin is back in the building with another quick tip. If it's your first time on my channel, listen up, just browse around after this video. Uh, there's a lot of tips and tutorials and entertaining stuff on my channel, okay? And if you see something you like, just hit the like button. So this software that I'm gonna, you know, I've been using it for a while now. Um, and a lot of other DJs, like um, well-known DJs, they have this software as a, you know, as a secret weapon, like as, as something that they don't talk about. But I wanna share, you know, one of my main weapon, um, if I should say that, one of my main weapon for Mac users. So someone asked me the question, they were like, Martin does, what if you only had one, one software on your computer. Um, you only can keep one software. Which software would that be? You want to stream to YouTube live. You want to record your set. There's, 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 you know, trying to do that, trying to keep up um, on a Mac. Let's say you don't have one of the newest Mac. You're probably in 2012, 2013. That's going to stress your computer out. That's going to stress you out. All right, so let's, let's get into it. The software is audio. Hijack. If you know about the software already, comment down below and, and tell me your favorite feature in Audio Hijack and, and let me know, um, you know, what you use it for. Do you use it for a podcast? You just use it to record a set. Let me know what you use it for, all right? Okay, when you open Audio Hijack, this is your first screen. This is the screen you're going to be um, greeted with. It has um, sessions, recordings, um, for past recordings, schedule that if you want to, you know, add a timer to, to whatever you're doing, whatever task, right? So these are the pretty much um, my sessions that I have created, okay? But yours is going to be blank. So for instance, let's go to new session. So you go to new session, right here you have 12 options, a blank session, then it, it gives you other um, like uh, presets um, for podcasts, for stuff that you want to do. So if you want to record an internet radio um, to a, a stream to a server, if you just want to add some effects to an audio, uh, if you want to um, do a voice chat, or you just want to record all the sounds on your computer. It's, it's, it's well diverse. It gives you a lot of options. Let's go to blank session. When you go to blank session, um, let me just open this a bit. When you go to blank session, you're going to be greeted right here again with a, a blank uh, slate, a fresh slate. Okay. On your right hand side, you have applications, um, input systems, right? So these are your sources. They call these blocks, right? So for instance, if you click and drag a block here, one application, you can select any application on your computer that's um, your running applications so have loopback running. So, but let's say you have Ableton or Serato, you can actually select that application and put it right here, right? Okay, so let's say you have an application and you want to um, talk, you want to use a microphone over that application. So let's say you're using a gaming, gaming um software or something and you want to um interact so you could add an input device the inter the device would be a microphone so if you have like an audio interface like i have connected right now i have my um personas and also i have my scarlet 1820 um, so i would select that and also it gives you the option to select any input of your audio device so you can pretty much just select channel one channel two um whatever you're connected to um in a bit i'll go over and show you how i how i set up my radio show right so so you have two input source right here you have a mic and you have let's say it's a dj software whatever it is right then you can add an eq to the chain um you if, if you want to add some form of meter to see what what signal is coming in, right? So you could add a meter for that. 
you could add two separate meters. You could add one meter for your your your, your microphone and your um, application, right? You could add a, a volume in between the chain to, to actually um, affect your meter, okay? And then you could tie all these together by, let's say, add a balance. Let's add a balance now. Let's let's delete this. Right click, delete block. All right, so right click, delete block. Let's, what could we add there? Add another volume. So let's, yeah, let's add another volume right here to just um, tie everything together. So right here we have our mic input. The next section we have our application input and we can adjust both volumes and see what reading we're getting on the, on the you know, decimal, um, um, the meter right here. And then we could still adjust the volume going into whatever we want to um, go to. So if we want to go to a recorder, then go to the, or go to a broadcast um, application like a shoutcast, or let's say we want to put a stream and the, the, the broadcast right and if we want to just broadcast just the mic because the stream the mic and just broadcast just to, listen it's the, the possibilities are endless with this software all right and as you can see right now i'm doing a lot of stuff it's endless right and you can use your vsts also you can time you can um, you know, a lot of the times the audio and the video is not syncing up properly. You can actually affect, you know, do stuff to 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 change the timing of your order and and get it sync with 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 your video. Um, your VST is down your audio effects unit, right? You could add a VST to the chain if you want to add a delay or reverb to your microphone. Listen, whatever you want to add, you can do it. Um, you could add a limiter to the end of your the end of your um, your chain right here. You could add a limiter to pretty much you know stable everything and you know not letting it peak and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it. Um, it's it's as I said, it's it's endless. You go into the streaming. Um, you go into the streamer right here. You go into the streamer right here. You could um, put your title. Let's say DJ Martin. Thus, you could put your title right there. You could add some artwork. Um, your server that you want to live stream to, whether it's Twitch, whatever it is. This is still in better version, as it's saying, you know. Um, so you got to be careful with it, but it still works. Works great. I've used it before. Your broadcasting application. You could go and set up your metadata. Your recording the great thing about the recording part is you could add all the information there um you know all the information and even after you you've done your recording you can still add more info um and then you have mp you could record in these different formats mp3 uh wave um aiff all those different formats you can bit rate up to 320 listen uh, that's just a quick run through so you have an idea. Um, this is my internet show. So I have my input right now, three and four coming from my Scarlet. I have a volume um, control right here. I have an application just in case um, something goes wrong with my Surat and it freezes up. I can just quickly come to here and just select a song from iTunes. I uh, have my VU meter. I have a basic EQ. Um, band EQ right here to adjust, you know, whatever frequencies I want. And still got an output meter to make sure everything is not, you know, going over the, the range that I want it to go. Um, then my recorder, then my broadcast, right? And in, on my computer, because I listen to my um, the website just to make sure I'm on, I have an output source which I turn off and on as I please. So I could, you know, use my internal speakers, 
when I want to because I'm going to be having another um I'm going to be having another um web web browser running so I want to hear that web browser when I actually unmute my my speakers so there you have it um yeah credit due to you for sticking around to the end of the video now I got a question for you um if it's not RDI iJack, RDI iJack is, is the one that I would keep on my computer if I only had one software. Now for you, what software would you keep on your computer? Even if it's an Apple or, or, or a Windows computer, what software would you keep on your computer if you only add, you know, just to narrow it down to that one, okay? Put it down in the, um, in the comments, all right? Hope this video, brought some um knowledge to you i hope it, it is some help to you if not to you share it for someone else all right um and again remember to subscribe hit that notification bell so you get um, notified when i upload new content okay so a lot of um viewers on the channel they forget to subscribe just subscribe it means a lot okay it means a lot to every single youtuber to actually Continue to bring you awesome content, okay? With that being said, I don't know you know Martin does eating at the building, no me I cut out of the building, so you know what? Me out!